Good afternoon and welcome into Mary's Kitchen today. How are you all doing there in isolation? Uh, it's a beautiful sunny day here in Scotland and uh, I thought I'd share another Indian recipe with you. Uh, this one is really lovely served as a condiment. Who's on here? Hi Maureen, how are you? Good to see you. Um, this, uh, this particular recipe actually was given to me by a very good friend of mine, Lucas Arasimowicz, who I hope is going to come on here soon. And um, Maureen, you know Lucas very well. <laughs> and Lucas had been away to India and uh, one of his Indian friends had, gave him this recipe and taught him. Now ratai is a condiment dish that is served with Indian food. Who's on here? I can't really see. Oh, Lucas has come on. Hi, Lucas. This is your recipe. I'm just sharing it with um, everyone today. So, uh, hi, Deborah. How are you? You got out of bed. Great. <laughs> and Jeanette, nice to see you, Jeanette. We must hook up on a, on a conference call <laughs> with Lucas. And hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Mayor Mayor. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Always good to see you. My dear friend from Canada. We've been friends since we were kids. A long time. Hi, Laura. It's very sunny here. I can hardly see the things coming up on the camera. Hi, Monica and Judy. Oh, you're all piling on here. First of all, I wanted to thank you all so very much. Uh, Mary's Kitchen has reached over 4,000 likes and has almost 4,500 followers. So that's a real achievement in itself. And I just want to thank all of you uh, for all your... Uh, you're always so grateful and appreciative and uh, any questions that you may have about various dishes that I'm making I'm always ha happy to answer your questions which I do all myself so if there's a hundred questions there I answer them all myself hi Lindsay how are you good morning to you nice to see you <laughs> and Jeannie hi Jeannie how's the mass making going I mean you had like almost I think you're over 600 now with your mass which is wonderful what a great service to providing to all your friends and family. Hi, Sue. Wow, that sun is bright today, I'm telling you. And just see who's on here. Diane and Loretta. Great to see you, Loretta. Hi, Aileen, how are you? Well, thanks very much, Aileen. I know that's quite an achievement. <laughs> There's life in the old dog yet, I guess, eh? Since I'm a bit prehistoric. Hey Chuck, I haven't seen you for a long time. We used to have so much fun at the Don Cesar, drinking fabulous cocktails that you made. How are you doing? Oh, terrific. Monica, how are you? Is Norman watching? <laughs> and Carrie, how are you? Uh, so you found me today, Monica. Well, what I'm going to do today is I have no cooking apparatus out here, but I do have my little, wonderful little um, Ambiano chopper. And my friend Lorna just bought one. I told her to get one. I said, it's a, just a wonderful thing to have in the kitchen. I've got big food processors. I've got small food processors. And this is a medium one. And I just absolutely adore it because it doesn't take so long to clean up and everything. And let's see who else is on here. Carrie and Lisa. Oh, Norman's not there today. <laughs> oh, very good. Well, anyway, we got another lovely day here in Scotland, which I'm so happy, especially when you're sitting in isolation. It's great to see some sunshine. I think it's going to be a little bit of rain coming up very shortly. Hi, Joy. And Jean. Hi. And Lisa. So anyway, for my little Ambiano chopper, we're going to chop all these vegetables and we're going to make a beautiful Indian ratai, which is, an, which is a condiment served with cur curries. And tonight I happen to be making a spicy prawn curry and I thought, oh, I'd love to make a, a yogurt dish. Now Lucas has made this for me a number of times and I managed to squeeze the recipe out of them finally. And uh, 
basically if you go to an Indian carryout and get a ratai, it's normally just a mixture of a uh, few spices like cumin and coriander, some uh, cucumber in there and some mint and that's about it. But we're going to make this more of a vegetable uh, type uh, ratai by adding, we're going to add some little peppers like this. These are little mini snack peppers I buy, tiny ones. Uh, we're going to add a couple of tomatoes, little tiny tomatoes. Uh, I'd like to use one red onion, but I don't have a whole red onion. I've only got a piece of red onion, so I'm going to use a little bit, a little tiny onion here too. I've got a carrot. Uh, I've also got half a cucumber. And of course, <laughs> no dish is complete without chilies and yogurt. I also wanted just to share a tip. I know I've shared this with you many times. You'll see my board here is green. And uh, I wanted to show you because I have a selection of boards here. Uh, one for fish, which is blue. One red for meat. One white for bread. And the green one, of course, for vegetables, which is quite important if you're working in your kitchen to have various colored boards so you're not cross-contaminating your food. And we all know that word, cross-contamination. Now that's for sure. <laughs> Hi Tammy, how are you? And Donna? And Pam? Great to see you girls all coming on. Thanks very much. I'm sorry it's a wee bit sunny today. I hope you can see me okay. Um, and I've also got some fresh cilantro, coriander here as well. A little bit of sugar I'm going to be putting in, salt and pepper. Um, fresh mint I usually use, but I don't have any fresh mint, so I'm going to use a little teaspoon of mint sauce here. So I think what we'll do is get started and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chop my uh, onion up here. I've also got a little dish here for my scraps and pieces that I to told you. Always keep beside you so you can throw your garbage in there. And I'm just going to cut this little red onion in half. And I'm just going to use half of this white onion because I, I just want a sort of a whole onion in there. And I think the red onion gives it a better color. Um, oh, hang on, get my lid on properly. I'll chop that first. This is a great little chopper because it goes both ways. And you want your onion up quite small and fine. Alright, the finer it is, the better. And I've got a little bowl here that I'm going to start packing everything into. There we go. So that's our red onion, and uh, if you don't have all red onion, there's a little bit of a big piece in there, which I don't want. Uh, see, I don't want that in there, so I'll just put that in my scrap box. And I'll put the red onion in there first. This is a lovely dish. You can serve this with barbecues and all sorts of things. It is particularly an Indian dish, um, yogurt based, of course. Um, I've got a couple of uh, celery sticks here. I'm just going to take the little ends off. Just some little bits of celery that I had left over. And I'm going to chop them up. Oh, oh, might help if I put the blade in, right? Yeah, that helps sometimes. <laughs> okay. Chop that up. I just that I like this chopper because it goes both ways and it really cuts the things up fine. And you want this cut up very, very fine because this is all your vegetables going in here. Whoops, spilled some of my onion. There we go. So we've got our we've got one uh, red onion and uh, a celery stick. Say that was just two little celery sticks there, so. Um, now, carrot, one carrot. Here I go, got my little plastic bowl here, so I'm going to peel that. I'm sorry I can't see everybody's name coming up on the thing because it is awfully bright out here today. Anyway, peel my carrot. You see why I like to have this little thing here? It's absolutely perfect for putting all your junk in, and then you get one trip to the garbage can afterwards. And actually, I'll just peel my cucumber while I'm here because I'm going to have to cut that up into tiny pieces. I'm going to do that by hand, though. I'm not going to put it in the machine, because I want the cucumber to be a little bit more chunky. So this is a lovely dish, a cooling dish, okay, although I am going to be putting chili in it. Uh, quite often you don't need to put chili in it, uh, but I am putting it in this, because we found, actually, it was my idea when Lucas was making it, I said, would you put some chili in that, of course? 
And he said, oh, I've never had it with chili in before. So we decided that we preferred it with the chili in it. So that's that. And the onion, the carrot, we're just going to put in here as well. And I'll just put my green and my red pepper in here. And I'm going to put it in with the seeds. We're going to chop them all. That's the wonderful thing about this thing. It's so easy to chop. And if you keep your little dish there beside you just to put your rubbish. There. So I just want to show you how simple this dish is to make. Chop them all up. See how simple? I mean, imagine if you had to spend all that time cutting all this stuff up. And the finer it is cut up, the better it is for this dish. So I've got one red uh, chili, and I've got one green chili, and we're just about there with this. This is how simple this dish is. I just thought, this is a condiment. When I'm making Indian food, I serve a lot of things with my Indian food. I make the aloo gobi, I make dal, lentil dal, uh, I make spinach and potato. Uh, so I make a lot of dishes and this is the one that I make for the cooling. I really, really like to have an Indian banquet and invite a lot of my friends over. So who's on here? Let me just see. Linda, if I can see. Mary, how are you? Mary Ford, Stevenson, nice to see you. And Alex in Australia, I think you're in Al Alex, I think you're in Australia. And let's see who else is here. Alex, yes, good to see you. I'm sorry, I just can't see the names, it's so bright today. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves some Greek yogurt. And we're going to put about two cups of Greek yogurt in here. It doesn't matter, you don't need to measure it, okay? You just put in two cups, whatever looks like two cups to you. Or just a healthy measurement. Oh, I forgot, there's one other thing I wanna put in here. Yeah, we just have, gotta put our cucumbers in here yet too. So that's two cups of yogurt in there and you can see all the lovely vegetables in here. Now we're gonna cut up this cucumber, we're gonna, make this cucumber a little bit bigger. And put that in. Also, oh, I've got some other things to put in here too. I think I ran away with myself there a little bit. This is a lovely pampered chef knife I have here, if you're wondering. It's very, very sharp and great. So I like to use this one. And that's my little decorations for later. So we're just going to put the cucumber in here. There we go. We're going to mix that in in a minute because we've got a couple of other things to do here too. I've got some tomato I want to put in. We're going to put that in next. So I've got two little tomatoes here. that up, chop it up, you know, sort of just like that, fine, not too fine, you want some, you know, some of the things to have a little bit of bite to them, and there we go, I'll just put that in our bowl, so this is a really, you can keep this in the fridge for Oh, I'd say probably about the best part of a week. And um, I'm going to put some little peppers in here as well. And I want to make them a little bit coarser. So. And just take that pith out of there. I've got a little pith in there. Just take that out. That's yellow pepper. I'm going to put a little red one in there too. The more the merrier, the more the merrier. So that's my yellow pepper. I hope my bowl's going to be big enough. <laughs> I'm still going to put some cilantro in there too. So I'm going to put a red one in as well. And we're just going to cut that pith out the center.
careful when you're using sharp knives. Keep your fingers back, okay? You don't want to chop any of your fingers off. I've never done that, <laughs> and I don't want to. Uh, okay. So that's your pepper. And that's going in next. So you see what a lovely dish this is. It's a really, really nice yogurt dish. You can serve it with all sorts of things. You can serve it with barbecued meat. Um, here I might just put, I'm going to take some of my cilantro here, including the stems. Just take your stems and we're going to cut that right up. You could put garlic in here if you wanted. Um, I'm not putting garlic in it today uh, because generally there's a lot of garlic in my curries and stuff like that. Chop that up as fine as you can. And put that in there as well. So I put the recipe at the top of the video there for you. Okay. Please not want not. Get every little bit in. And I don't need that anymore now, so I'll just put that over there. And I'm going to put about a teaspoon of uh, cumin in here. A teaspoon of cumin. I want a teaspoon of sugar. All right. If you don't, you don't have to put the sugar in, okay? So if you feel like leaving that out, feel salt and pepper. And basically, this is it. We're going to mix that all in, into our yogurt. And this is going to be a beautiful dish to serve with your Indian food. You can see how lovely. First time Lucas made this for me, I was absolutely blown away. I said, I've never had ratai like that. And he said, oh yes, I learned how to make this from my Indian friends. And I said, wow, that is really a beautiful dish. And it tastes so divine and that is all there is to it who's on here hi mint julep and barbara and and catherine how are you monica the recipe is up at above and when i post this video go back onto mary's kitchen page and you'll see the recipe is printed on there if i can see it you can see it so after I publish this video, the recipe will be up at the top of the page. Hey Maureen, hi. So after the video, when I publish this, you'll see the recipe up at the top of the page. Okay? Divine. Oh, it's perfect. It doesn't need anything else. If you get a pen and paper, I'll go over the recipe real quick. Okay, we got two cups of yogurt here, one celery stick, one carrot stick, one red onion, two small tomatoes, one small red pepper, one small uh, yellow pepper, whatever color you have, uh, half a cucumber, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of sugar, salt and pepper, um, and some fresh cilantro, coriander chopped up, about a, two tablespoons. Oh. I'll tell you one more thing. Uh, oh dear, I'll have to use the end of the spoon because I put that spoon in my mouth already. I'm gonna put a little bit of mint sauce in here. About a teaspoon. Yes, I almost forgot that because that really, really brings out the flavor in the yogurt. And I like that flavor. There we go. So that is your um, it's like a vegetable ratai, and how I would serve it is just serve it in a nice little bowl like this. There we go. And that's your side dish to serve along with your Indian food. I've got a couple of uh, pieces of um, cucumber here. I just need to. There we go. them on there. Maybe a couple of uh, cilantro leaves. Mm. And 
maybe just a little shot of chili powder, just to give it a little decoration. There you go. There. A beautiful dish of a beautiful Indian condiment called rata, but a little bit much nicer than you buy when you get a takeaway Indian because all they serve you is quite wet yogurt with limp cucumber and a little tiny bit of mint in there and some so this is a beautiful dish to serve with any curry that you happen to make up and it's really really cooling even though it's got the chili in it it doesn't matter it's really really nice so i hope you all enjoyed that hi maureen thank you you're very welcome and jeanette my dear friend in Canada, thanks so much for coming on, Jeanette. I like to see you on here. <laughs> and Jeannie, great to see you girls. So I hope that you enjoyed that. I also want to just thank you again so much for uh, Mary's Kitchen reaching over 4,000 likes and 4,500 followers. That's absolutely brilliant. Uh, it makes me feel really good that I'm teaching you some things and what to do in the kitchen and um, some easy dishes. We've been doing uh, sort of one pan cooking most of the week, uh, just trying to make things simple for you and trying to get you to use the ingredients that you have readily available to you. And uh, also we're on this Indian theme at the moment, which of course I love Indian food. I love garlic, ginger, chilies, and all those wonderful spices. And um, so, and I hope that, you know, it, I can teach you some of these dishes and that uh, and I know some of you have made various dishes and, and posted photographs of them. Hi Evie, how are you? I just saw you come on there. Hi Cindy and Karen Peterson, nice to see you, my night walker. And Lisa, I can see you girls now. The sun isn't shining in my eyes so much. And Nancy, hi. So I hope some of these dishes you'll take into your kitchen and have a go at making them and see how easy they are. I try to make it as simplistic as possible, but they're also very, very delicious dishes. Now I did make a dish last week, a lemony chicken and tarragon, and unfortunately I did a boo-boo, a techno boo-boo, and I must have deleted it by accident. I was deleting, sometimes when I put on the uh, Mary's Kitchen event, I was deleting that so it doesn't clog, clog up my news feed. And I must have accidentally deleted the video. So I'm sorry about that. I'm going to make it for you next week. Hi, Jennifer. Oh, I need sunglasses, Monica. You're right. Absolutely right. I do need sunglasses. So listen, girls, thanks for coming on. And uh, I hope that you enjoy that. I hope you get an opportunity to make it. If you, have a, if you want to store this uh, for later, you can always store it in your yogurt tub and keep it in the fridge, okay? I'd say about a week with the tomatoes and that's about it, just about a week, but you'll finish it up. It's so good. And once you make up a curry, now if you want a curry recipe, I did a spicy prawn curry. If you scroll down on Mary's Kitchen um, and it'll come up, I think it's, it might even be one of the first ones there. Uh, there's also a beef uh, kima there as well, which is another curry that I made for you the other day. And, um, these are all dishes you can serve with this. I want to show you how to make a dal because that's a vegetarian, vegan dish using pulses, lentils, or dal lentils. And it's a really, really lovely dish to serve as a side dish with your Indian food if you're having a few people over. It's always nice to have a few side dishes so nobody goes hungry. Hi, Marcia, how are you? And Olivia, hi. And Linda. Okay, girls, uh, Linda, I think I just sent, no, no, I, no, no, it wasn't you, it was somebody else, Leah, it was Leah, I sent her, just sent her a recipe she was looking for. Um, so thanks, and if you do make these dishes, would you please post them on my Mary's Kitchen page? I really, really appreciate seeing what you're making. I love it, in fact, because it makes me feel that uh, I've done some good for you and that you're learning how to use various things in the kitchen. So I'll say cheerio just now, and remember, if you see someone without a smile, give them yours, and stay home and stay safe, okay? Lots of love. Thanks for coming on. Bye.